What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Bunny, and welcome to the new legendary pilot Lilian Statera for the Hades with three times overdrive unit with Nucleon and Quarker. What a massive damage boost that is going to be later when we fire those cannon shots. And the legendary pilot makes the firing range of the Hades built in weapon. 100 meters further. When I read this, I was like, wow, from 500 meters, gaining an additional 600 meters means 1,100 meters, which would have made sense because that is also the cannon range of Nashorn, for example, you know? I thought, whoa, the cannon now fires 1,100 meters. How awesome is that, right? That would make sense. But in fact, this only means 600 meters altogether. So an increase in range of 100 meters. And over the course of this video, I'm going to, I'm showing you now the legendary pilot together with this amazing Quarker Nucleon setup and the overdrive module where we do tremendous damage, getting godlike after godlike after godlike, okay? Um, but that's because of the Nucleon and Quarker and because of the Hades. It's not because of the Nucleon, eh, not because of the legendary pilot, all right? And uh, I'm going to also explain to you guys why I think the legendary pilot isn't really that good and what they could have done instead to make it interesting, you know? But uh, let's first run through some of these enemies here. What I have to do is I have to take damage. Below 75%, you see it in the upper left corner, past this line. And now that we are past the line, we're actually going to do 75, no, yeah, 75% increased damage. Look at that. You see the damage that this guy down there took? That was three cannon shots. Holy cow. That was absolute insanity right there. And um, with the 600 meters built in cannon, for example, one thing I can do is kill this leech, okay? This leech is at 540 meters walking away from me. My weapons only have 500 meters range. If I want to kill this guy, I need something with more than 500 meters range, which I only now, thanks to the legendary pilot, have. Look, boom, kill. That would not have happened without a legendary pilot, but let's be honest, how often does that happen? You know, Springfield Canyon, Yamantau, okay. There, relatively often you have enemies at, you know, at more than 500 meters range. But what about all the other maps? Normally, you have most encounters, let's say 80% of your battles and encounters are within 500 meters range. At least 80%, if not more, alright? So, what's the point of that legendary pilot? By the way, godlike. 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 <laughs> Let me show you this, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm gonna get back to it in a second. Godlike. Boom, boom. Built in legend. Built in cannon fired, but the guy was uh, face shifting, unfortunately. But here is a Loki who dropped his stealth for a second, thinking that it was a good idea. But man, was that a bad idea. Because now I got him. Because I'm right now firing with two Nucleons and four, uh, four Quarkers, if you will, due to the increase of firepower with the overdrive unit. Alright, so this guy's gonna leech us in a second, but let's first go and have some fun with those dudes here. Did, did I mention that we were at godlike? Godlike! <laughs> oh my gosh! This is just insane. The Hades is really, really fun, I gotta say, ladies and gentlemen. Here I need some help and look who's coming, it's the Ares. And he's coming to help me out big time here with the, with the A Hades shield. Nice job there, buddy. Thank you. And... Godlike! That's right. And we also have the built-in cannon firing now. And I'm retreating from the Nemesis. Now, what I'm, what I'm saying about the legendary pilot is that very few situations you will actually gain from this pilot. Normally, it doesn't matter if it's a legendary or not. I I imagine you have your, you get yourself a legendary pilot and in 90 or 80% of all cases, you won't even notice it, you know? And that's the problem that this pilot has. Pixonic, in case you're seeing this, here's a suggestion. You could rework this pilot, Lilian Stetera, or whatever her name was, to instead of increasing the build in weapons range, um, either increase it really to 1,100 meters, right? Because that's not really overpowered. It just means that the cannon fires 1,100 meters, isn't it? You know, it's not really like you're going to kill people at that range just because you're firing those cannons. It means you have the same range with the cannon that a cannon has, right? 
But here's another suggestion, in case you're not liking that one very much. Look what we're doing to this guy. He's got the bug where he can't land. Um, he's stuck on the, the top of the t skybox, basically. And uh, look what we're doing to these titans, by the way. We are, as I said, within the 75% uh, increase mark of the weapons, so that every weapon fire shot, built-in or normal weapons, is, is increased by that much. This is a lot of damage output, ladies Titan and gentlemen. Slayer. It's crazy. All right? But again, to my other suggestion, instead of increasing range, how about you increase the amount of cannon shots by one, right? Instead, or maybe by two. Depends on the balancing. I guess you could test it out a little and uh, whether you think it's better two or one additional shot. But the cannon of the Hades fires three shots, okay? And uh, if the legendary pilot would make it fire four shots, and the shield lasts one second longer for that additional shot, that would go a long way of making the legendary pilot truly a legendary pilot. Alright, but that's just my opinion. I want to hear what you guys think out there. I don't think that would make the Hades overpowered. Uh, the Ares is usually still the thing that most people go for. And the Nemesis has also become much more much more useful now that the uh, it doesn't lose the speed when increasing using the shield and all that, right? A nemesis is really a very important and, and powerful asset give, uh, uh, become in the game. And uh, the, the Hades is still, you know, the smaller brother that less people are using, right? With a legendary pilot using, get, giving one additional cannon shot and maybe a second longer shield due to that cannon shot, I think that would make it a very excellent legendary pilot. And the Hades be an extremely popular uh, choice, maybe. I would like it. Um, but yeah, so much. That was the first match. Let's hop into the next one. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this content, you want to see more such as this one, then subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. Uh, daily videos. And by the way, we're having a giveaway coming very soon again. I'm not sure what it's going to be. Maybe I can give away some Titan stuff. I should be able to this time uh, maybe get you guys some Nodens or maybe some, uh, maybe even an Alming or something. Let's see. Uh, Nodens is more valuable than Alming, I guess. So, um... Yeah, I'll see what I can do and what I can come up with um, and what permission I can get from Pixonic in case of giveaway uh, pool, prize pool, right? So now for a short sequence, we're here on um, Moon, you know, doing a ton of damage to these uh, attacking enemies right here. And uh, also after this, um, we're jumping onto one more match afterwards, all right? We're currently losing the match on Beacon Progress, but don't worry, I got it covered. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I, I, I'd really like to hear what you guys think. I'm accelerating the gameplay here. But what do you think about my suggestion with one more cannon shot? The, the advantage is that the legendary pilot would now be useful in any situation, right? No matter what range you're in, you're basically gaining an additional shot. So a little bit more damage output and you have that shield one second longer for it. In any condition, that would make uh, the pilot useful. Which, you know, Liliana here is only very... For example, on this map, I have Liliana on it. I gain nothing for it. I have a legendary pilot on this Hades, and it's like I have none because there is literally no difference whatsoever in playstyle for me. No be benefit, no gain, nothing. Completely. I, I basically don't even notice that I have <laughs> the, the legendary pilot here because I'm just not in a range where I can make use of it, you know? And yeah. So that's kind of my argument and point, but I, I'd like to hear what you guys think. Let's get back. Another Ares comes popping up from behind. I don't know what's happening these days, but I've got some Ares backup recently. More Ares backup than I have normally. Now I'm bringing up the energy shield here, uh, the absorber shield, where in this case now the Hades and uh, the Ares is benefiting from it too. Overlapping shields, exchanging skill and all that, you know. That used, by the way, this was the thing that broke the game back in the days, right? Multiple Ares, overlapping shields. Very few, very little skill required to make it happen. <laughs> uh, but nowadays, you don't see those things all the time anymore uh, in, on every corner. Uh, so I guess it's no more ridiculously overpowered. There are lots of counters now. You have fast blitz robots with resistance running into the shield. You have fast phantoms being able to run inside the shields or leeches throwing the damage back at the Ares. There's tons of ways to counter the Ares things by now. And so over now it's really just a really cool thing when it happens. So let's jump one, ma one match free for all. 
all right, and see what the Ares can do right there. Uh, I'm pretty sure I will be able to not disappoint you here. I noticed it was a Ravana, and if there is one thing you have to do when you're fi fi when you're using Nemesis, Hades, or Ares, you have to make sure the Ravana doesn't get close to you. If the Ravana gets close to you and runs inside your shield, that's going to be it for you. Sorry, I'm having the hiccups. Almost, it's like <laughs> so close to becoming coming out. Um, yeah, you really have to make sure if there is a Ravana somewhere near, you can keep him at a distance. Just walk away from him as far away as you can and make sure he does not get the chance to get inside that shield. I, most of the time, it just won't be possible because that Ravana just has so much invincibility that he can stall like 40 seconds of time when he's using Legendary Pilot and no matter what, he's gonna make it inside your shield, but... You can make it harder for him by walking away from him, you know? And that's what I'm gonna show you also in a second. Um, but I was being asked in yesterday's livestream um, if there is going to be a buff for Nucleon. People th think, or some people say apparently, that the Nucleon is not doing well. For a heavy weapon, I guess you could argue that it, you know, it's not very far away from the Atomizer. Um, but keep in mind, it has an endless reload. I don't think that Nucleon should be performing ridiculously strong. Here, this is one of the situations now where I can make use of Liliana's skill here. Uh, enemies are way out of 500 meters. I have no way of getting closer because otherwise I would fall down. So I have to shoot from here and I'm trying to kill steal. I'm trying to kill steal that Mercury. Boom. Boom. Unfortunately, the Storm Ravana makes it, but it could have worked. And that was thanks to the Legendary Pilot. But again, once a match or so. Once, one single time within a match where I think, where I notice I have a legendary pilot. I don't know if that's really worth it. I'd much rather have one more shot. Um, but yeah, so, what was I? What was I at? I don't know. Bring up the energy shield here, uh, built in the absorber shield. Shooting at that Ravana, but it seemed, it, even though I got a hit indicator, it didn't really seem to work. Didn't do any damage to him. And there is, this is the example that I meant. Look, there's a Ravana now. I fired at him, now he's mad at me, and he wants to take revenge for the shots that I've made. So, he came closer, closer, and I knew I can't stop him from getting close. The only thing I can do is just make him run further, right? And if I get across the bridge, then he's gonna have to use three invincibilities just to follow me through, you know? And that's exactly what happens here. He's using up all his invincibility modes now just to get to me. And then I still have my absorber shield ready. So here is the shield now. He's using the third one. He's coming in. Boom. Boom. And the last cannon shot actually help, hit him. And I've got him. Uh, and that was only possible because I walked away from him and I made it hard for him to reach me. If I had stayed around the corner up there, I would have not had a chance. So, uh, I thought he might walk out, that's why I pulled out the, uh, the cannon. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. But now he wants to brawl. What he doesn't know is that I'm within the territory of 75% more damage due to the overdrive module. So, I am able to dish out a tremendous amount of damage really quickly here with those, um, with those uh, fast-firing weapons. Yeah, I really, I, I've got to say, I like the combo. Um, Atom here, I'm kill-stealing, by the way. With the uh, built-in cannon gun, a uh, built-in Hades gun. No, it was the Quarker that got the kill, but you know, you guess, you get what I mean. I would have kill steeled it without that Quarker shot as well, I guess. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Dang it! I almost got the ability back. Um. So, uh, <laughs> I really like the Hades, man. It's a, it's one of those, those robots that you just don't see very often. By the way, this guy up there used his shield. In case you didn't notice, when I spawned, I noticed he had been using his shield. Just for a second. I saw the the, the purple shielding, so I knew his shield isn't isn't ready. Um, but uh, that Hades, I think you could see it some some more often. I My own account even has an Hades. I don't have the legendary pilot. Um, but right now, I must say, pfft, I don't really care much about not having that legendary pilot. Uh, because it doesn't seem to do me very well here. Um, but um, if it was, a if it did add a second longer to the shield, and if it would fire a, a shot more, dude, I would probably start leveling that Hades <laughs> and get that get that legendary pilot, because then it would really be worth it. Firing four cannon shots, right? That would mean a Ravana 
or a phase shift, for example. Right now, if you phase shift at the right time, all three cannon shots of the Hades go into nowhere because you're phase shifting. That legendary pilot with one shot more would mean the enemy can only dodge three shots, but the fourth one would hit, I think. I think the fourth shot would still provide a decent hit. Not sure, but would be a chance. So here is, uh, okay, this guy's not coming for me. I'm actually trying to get that Titan now. He ceased taking damage for some reason. I'm adding the cannon shots here to really make sure I get the kill. Uh, and it worked. Although, again, it was the Quarker that got the kill. What the heck? What's going on with the Quarker? It, it takes all the kills. Even stronger than the cannon that I'm running here. <laughs> the built-in cannon doesn't get the kill. The Quarker is it. That's right. Alright, let's let's uh, let's surprise that Phantom. It's a Phantom, don't you think? Look, look how fast we kill it. Boom. Boom. Because of 75% damage increase on the Overdrive module. I love those modules, man. It's a... Uh, no more last stand, so people can kill you much easier than, you know, the old setups with a last stand. Uh, but you still have this insane cool option of, you know, if you manage to not get killed, you can dish out so much more. Okay, this guy. Mm -hmm. Who am I gonna ta take down? Maybe this guy? Let's see. Can we get him here? There's a Titan to my left. I heard him. Heard him fly up. Aha, there he is. He's, however, he is busy firing at the other Titan. Behind me is another Aochun. There's two Aochuns and they're battling each other. And they're like, ah, let's just take care of that Aochun and the bigger threat. Because they don't see me as a big threat. But look at the damage I'm able to do because of those modules. I'm actually doing almost as much damage as a fully loaded Titan here due to these modules. And, uh, and this is what they underestimated. They should have probably tried and take care of me. But then again, I would have still had that shield, you know. I would have been able to br bring out that shield and take him down. But yeah, so I'll be uh, interested to see what you guys say in the comments. I'm now totally countering this guy. I make him think he could get me with his uh, stove ability. And in fact, I'm just walking away, taking him down while his resistance is down. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with me. You guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming. Jumping into the lake and seeing each other next time. Signing off. Bye-bye.